Ram Shopping Network, we take pride in educating our clients. We do this by connecting experts in the field, such as gemologists, designers, lapidarists, and pearl farmers directly with our audience. One of these experts is Sean, Gem Shopping Network's chief lapidarist. We asked him to explain the difference between a Portuguese round and a standard round brilliant cut. Hey there, I'm Sean, I'm a lapidary by trade, and today we're gonna to be talking about the differences between the standard round brilliant and the round Portuguese cut. The standard round brilliant has a total of 57 facets, 24 facets on the pavilion, and 33 facets on the crown. Now the crown consists of 16 girdle facets, eight main facets, eight star facets, and a table. Whereas the pavilion has 16 girdle facets and eight mains. The mains go from the girdle all the way to the culet. The round Portuguese that we cut at Gem Shopping has anywhere between 137 facets and 169 facets, depending on the shape of the rough. The arrangement of facets is different from around Brilliant. There are no mains, there are just multiple rows of consistent shapes. The pavilion has between four and six rows of facets. No mains, just a consistent pattern. The crown is composed of five rows of 16 facets each, plus the table. Of course, both of these designs are often modified. So I hope that explains the difference between the standard round brilliant and the round Portuguese that we cut here at Gem Shopping.